One of the things you end up doing a lot in Reason is quantizing MIDI, which means correcting the timing of MIDI parts. Another use for MIDI quantization is actually changing, not just correcting, but also changing the feel of a MIDI part. And to that end, it has a useful little tool, which is buried down here in the Groove menu. If I press that, I can call up the Regroove Mixer. We'll look at this in more detail later, but essentially what it does is it allows you to route any MIDI tracks from the sequencer, using this little Regroove assignment menu here, to the Regroove Mixer. And what the Regroove Mixer does is it intercepts that MIDI. Remember, this is MIDI signal we're talking about, not audio signal. So it intercepts that MIDI signal. It applies real-time quantization to it with no lag whatsoever. It changes its timing based on the settings that you make here in each or any of these MIDI regroove slots. And then it outputs the sound as normal. That whole thing happens instantaneously. So here's just a really brief example. I've got a drum part here, which I programmed. It's very simple. If I just maximize that window, you'll be able to see it a bit better. There we go. If I play it back. Now it's currently not assigned to any kind of regroove. That's pretty boring and basic. It's also slightly out of time. Now I could just quantize it as normal by going to the edit menu and choosing quantize, which would quantize it based on the settings found inside the tool window, quantize section. Here. Yeah. But rather than doing that, I'll just undo that. I could route it to my Ruru channel and choose one of these presets. So let's just see how that works. Or I could assign it to a different slot, let's say number four. I wanted to edit that. It's probably too much, so I'll give it a bit less. Introduce some random timing. If I decided I didn't like that, I could always remove it and it's back to how it was. And I might then want to press Apple or Command K to just snap it into more regular time. Of course, after I've quantized it, I could always reassign it to regroove because it's a bit mechanical now. So let's say I could send it to channel A3. And enable it. You can always hide the regroove section by pressing this button again.